In this video, I'm showing you the best app lockers that are available on Play Store for Motorola and other Android mobiles. I'm showing two applications in this video and these two applications are having more than 4 rating on Play Store. Just remember the icons of these two applications and download from the Play Store after watching this video if you are interested. I will try to add the links in the description as well as in the comment sections for better downloading experience. Definitely check those. I'll show you the settings and features that are available on these two applications and also the main problems you have to encounter while using these. Talking about the first app, it's AppLock Pro. After opening the app, it shows a window like this where you need to set the passcode. If you click on the drop down on the top side, you can see some more options for setting the passcode. You can select whichever you want. I'm selecting the pattern here for demonstration purpose. After giving the pattern for the first time, a new option will be pop up on the bottom side that is create. After clicking on it, again it asks you to re-enter the same passcode. After that, click on save. Now another pop-up will come where you can set the security question if in case you forgot the password. You can skip it if you don't like it. This is how the interface looks like. You can see two options here, unlocked and logged, followed by the list of apps that are there on your mobile. If you want to lock any app or unlock the app, Simply click on the lock symbol on the right side of each app. This is very easy and convenient way to lock the applications. And by the way, if you are enjoying this content till now, I'm hoping a like from you that is highly appreciated for me and also subscribe for this channel so you never miss any video that I'm posting related to tech, mobiles, laptops and many more. Coming back to these apps, on the top side you can see some more options that includes tools, themes, premium and settings. If you want to hide the notifications for the apps that you logged, go to the tools option. Under that, select the notification security and enable hide notifications. Below that, one more option is there called usage statistics. This is like same as the digital well-being where you can see how many hours you spent with your mobile every day. It shows date wise. This is a great feature. Actually, I want this type of option in the native settings in every mobile. Let's see in future whether they enable this or not. Below that one more option is there, it's called network statistics. Here it shows the data you consumed with Wi-Fi and mobile network separately or combined. This is also a great feature and mobile doesn't have like this in detail. The next section is themes where you can customize according to your like. The another option is premium where if you want to access extra features followed by no ads, you can pay for this if you want. Yes, there are a lot of annoying ads that you will see if you are using this application. I'll show how these ads are coming and makes you frustrated. And finally, the last option is settings. If you click on system security, you can change the password followed by security question or even you can use the fingerprint to lock and unlock the apps. Whenever you click any option in the sub options, there is an ad will be popped. This is so frustrating to use this application, especially for these settings. I even tested, maybe there will be no ad right after the a new ad will be popped, but it's not. If you click any sub option, a new ad will come no matter what, how fast you are. There are some more options available. These all are self-explanatory. So once you click and read that, you will know what does it mean. But make sure ads will come every time if you click any sub option. Before winding up these settings options, I'll show some important settings here. First one is relock time. You can choose a 15 seconds or 30 seconds or 45 seconds or even until the screens turn off here. Basically, if you select a 15 seconds, what it does is right after closing the app that you already logged in this application, after 15 seconds, it will be relogged once again. Another option is to hide this app icon to another icons like calculator, weather, clock or music. This is good for privacy. But note that some options are only available for premier members. I checked if any security error is there in these apps like you can simply uninstall it by long pressing the app. But here is the catch. If you click on uninstall button, it asks you to give the password. Otherwise, it won't uninstall. I even checked in Samsung mobile. but there is a glitch there. Right after selecting the uninstall button, it takes some seconds to pop that passcode screen. Meanwhile, we can uninstall it. And also one more way is there to remove all the app locks at once. It's by clearing the cache and data. These security errors are there in this app. Coming to the second app, this is almost identical to the first one. You can go through the settings, you will know more about it. And do note that this application also has a lot of ads. However, it also comes with a frequent ads. So which one you choose? 
Both apps offer impressive features, but the frequent ads can be annoying. If you're looking for a completely ad-free experience, let me know in the comments if you have found an app that works better. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe for more tech tips, tricks and app reviews. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.